Welcome to official SL TV channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share my video and press the red button. Please help me to share my video. My compliments to all members of the APC party and well-meaning Sierra Leoneans. Let me pay a tribute to Sierra Leone's illustrious son and legal luminary, His Lordship, Dr. Ablai O. Conte, former Chief Justice of Belize. I met this fine gentleman in 1962 when I entered the St. Edward Secondary School to do my sixth form. He was then at the Albert Academy in the fifth form. We cemented a family relationship that spanned till his death on Friday, 2nd August, 2024. He was a tall, elegant, and charismatic personality. Dr. Conte was an athlete, a legal luminary, and politician. His good character, patent integrity, and contribution in shaping and conducting Sierra Leone's foreign policy as the longest serving foreign minister is worthy of commendation. More importantly, his role as Attorney General in restoring pluralism, that is multi-party system of governance in Sierra Leone, after a long period of one-party dictatorship by piloting the enactment into law, the Constitution of Sierra Leone, 1991, Act Number no. 6 of 1991 was a triumphant, was very triumphant. As a member of that committee, I knew the trials and the challenges he went through in getting that process to the now document that we call our basic law. Dr. Conte served in different capacities as foreign minister, minister of finance, attorney general, and vice president of the Republic of Sierra Leone. Dr. Bly Conte was a phenomenon, and to many, he was a sage whom, whom two disciplines, the law and politics, claim as their own. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. In my last audio on 1st August 2024, I paid reverence to His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Eilis Selassie, the greatest man and icon of the age and continent in which he lived, that is Africa. 
He was commonly known as Tafari. And they talk about this man always because in the current state of our party, I see certain characteristics in we own leader, the flag bearer of 2018 and 2023 in the person of Dr. Samura M. W. Kamara. And I believe many students of political science, international relations, history, and even many politicians would have come across the same do not underestimate the power of Tafari. He creeps like a mouse, but he has the jaws like a lion. There was here now one of the warlords in Ethiopia because it was a balkanized country. And Tafari be the try for bring about unification of Ethiopia. But he been get a very serious challenge with this warlord, what they call Bak Balka. of Sidamo region. But he able for Dicham through the strategy of deception. And this one revolved on the game for power. Those who read history, that is African history, European history, know that Ali Salasi and Otto von Bismarck, the great German statesman, were masters of strategy and deception. As I had stated, in one of my audios, deception is the most potent weapon in the arsenal of power. And for those who seek power, or a political party that goes to, into an election to win, the leader of that party for make use of deception and that deception should require a screen of smoke to distract the people's attention, that is the opponents, from the leader's real intention. With the smoke screen, you comfortably lead your opponents, the soccer or the steerer of balance or of the sense. This is the strategy that Dr. Samura has applied 
in his quest for power. He don't go through all the challenges, all the twists, but through the use of the smoke screen, Tachi de Idi survive. Naturally, he's always calm, never angry or impatient. He knows that anger and emotion are strategically counterproductive. However, many of his adversaries within the national executive are very emotional and impatient. Many of them have demonstrated those traits. The only exception in the top hierarchy, where they should come and not being emotional, that the chairman and the deputy chairman, they always demonstrate calm courage. But unfortunately, and I must state this very emphatically. The Secretary General is very emotional, very, very emotional. And when you have a scribe of a political party, will not go able, will not get the ability for controlling emotions, then I believe from experience that that party day no go able for keep the position of an even kill. You don't demonstrate them repeatedly. I attended a press conference that was organized by the seven members of the Trapatites. Many that attended that press conference will remember or will recall very vividly something that happened with the seating arrangements at the high table. The chair, I think, that was allocated that was allotted to the deputy leader or the secretary general. Alhaji Sam Sumana being just car inside. No, I don't think people expected that she was going to attend. Then he goes sit down. I think that one of them she has the day. Fortunately, the deputy leader running mate in calm before the secretary general. So the seat that was vacant, Nadei Sefse goes sit down. When eventually the secretary general came in, he she say the chair where he supposed was sit down at the high table. You know, you know, the you know, see any vacancy at the vex. He rushed out of the out of the hall. People then try for talk to her. They may try for make other adjustments. It took some time to convince him to come back. I was very much disappointed. Very, very much disappointed. You see, 
when you did now the top notch of a political party, you will always try to be calm. That was my first experience. The Secretary General that we worked with, Sule Bajan Tijansi, he was always very calm. In fact, strictly, he adhered to the rules of being a scribe. When I go to a meeting, he doesn't make statements. His responsibility is to take down minutes. And he was never carried away by anything we will invoke sentiments who will be non-acceptable norm. So that was the experience. And believe me, after that press conference, I went to the office of the Deputy Secretary General, because it's somebody that I admire very much because of family connections. I went to school with most of his uncles, with the exception of his father. But me and Indadi, the late man, Dr. Chimbo, who are very, very close. But Almami Chimbo, Amadou Chimbo, who was with Baaji Mujalo, the genius Abu Bakar, who attend the University of Yale. They were all my genius in Maburka school. So I go for go, I go to my office. That was the first time I went to his office. So that I forget time for tell them, say what in boss do before they talk to them. Well, they you know they behave then kind with of it. Now, man, what go to school with me, picking them, and in and, and private college. But to my greatest surprise, when you have a senior visiting you in your office, he meets one or two people a day. I said, well, I can't for can't say hello to you. I go a little talk. He not been give me face. And I felt very disappointed. I sat there for about five, six minutes. I don't even get a chance for talk with her. In fact, on my way out, just across was the office of the running mates. So that, in fact, just put me off. I not be even. I just say, hello, hello. Then I go for go see the chairman. That is the type of experience some of us go through in the APC, which is not good. That cordiality, that mutual respect and trust for always day. Otherwise, the party will always day in this type of situation. You get a secretary general. He's so emotional. You know, you know they help the party. You know they help the party. Now that for get this party together, it will be almost impossible. Because all the way is to the way they say when they go to the American ambassador. If he went there late, then say I see the answer, I say, no rerun, no rerun, no, no rerun. Where do we go? But even more importantly, me they advise the top notch of the executive for they go to 
Now we are. Because all the ones they would don't go now we are. They, they perform in a very dismal way. They made the people, the membership, the followers, the sympathizers for lose hope. And they say an important element in determining man's fate, now hope. If a person no get hope, then he go run in, into a state of despair. And now the membership is becoming more and more disillusioned because of the statements coming from some of these people. I heard what the PRO said over we had. I was also very, very much disappointed. Somebody that I hold so dearly. Then, of course, my nephew, somebody that I cherish so much, Pope Kamara. There was a time, not a day, the pastor may know the would know the talk, but it was cut off. Only to hear the statements, the way they go make in public about elections, they didn't just forget about her. Well, you people met at NAC. When I take a decision, challenging the outcome of the elections, when I resolve because they will not go to court, but we will not go to governance. Nobody knows for sooner. We will not take that initial, they the second highest body. Through the efforts, the valiant efforts of the leader of the party. We get this agreement. The agreement for national unity. And in that ag agreement was encapsulated uh, this resolution three, who not the tripartite. And again, it was during that interview. Now we are, are distinctly hard. The Secretary General, the statements the way it make, and nobody it about one. Was cite a note. Now when the Kenyan George. Admonish and say, don't worry. We cannot overturn these results. We will not get our authority there. But we can devise a mechanism for redress. He as somebody with a legal mind, that in the for don't tell and say. A propositive approach will not, not then in be done, uh, um, develop now the English legal system will be a way out. And that judge was very brilliant. And in one of my audios, I did mention that that the propositive approach on resolution three how it was drafted now it will be the indirect route forget what you now want 
But the sad thing about most politicians in this country, they don't read, they don't study documents and reflect on them. And that is why, why be they not SLP? We were very thorough because I could remember a time when the government came out with a rationalization program on, ex on uh, expenditures. My own position was you cannot adopt such a strategy because when you get a situation where inflation is spiral, not only spiraling, but the pressures on the, on the inflationary rates. Now, more important, the pressure that you cannot even control the relative price stability. So I said to the government that austerity is not an option, but a necessity. And a rationalization program cannot work. JJ Safan, I sat down. We looked at the program very critically and we came out with a press statement. And that was the best press conference with the members of the fourth SDC, SLB below ever old. And almost all the radio stations engaged me on that rationalization program. And the most interesting debate was the one I had with the then director of budget, who is now the financial secretary. He's a very brilliant economist. But we talk economics. Now that radio station at 8.1. And what we come out, we shake hands, Mati Dingi. Because I even told him about the Phillips call. And also watching professor or to seek in writings one one of the most formidable development economists in the world you know, the politician must read but our politicians don't read for such a document is a question a real We are all they say it is done and dusted. And when I don't say now we win election. And when a leader, the flag bearer, he said the election is not over it until they are over. And a very senior stakeholder of the party, in the person of Alaji Kemosi say, he said the same thing. Do this gentleman expect for going at that conference day? They know the provisions of the 1991 constitution. That when he lost the election, they know declare you the winner. You not the loser. You have seven days for appeal. The party decided not to go to court, but rather for go through an indirect route, which is one of the cornerstones in the realm of power. Oh, after all, it's very complex. Now, now a dynamic phenomenon. And power and power and law, then they just now paradigms, now competing perspectives. 
Lord Denning don't try for an other uh, uh, great luminaries, both in the United States, in Europe, for align them. Because these are the two parameters where they rule the world. Anything, now for give them the necessary study. And that's why they always miss the point. When I get a leader who is cool, calculated, you know, he they read and they try to look at things in their proper perspective. That type of attitude must change. We still have time. We still have time. You know, the APC is a formidable party. Likewise, the SLBB is a formidable party. Now, two formidable parties. Now, then they eyeball to eyeball. The more they open their eye, they do not become petrified. That is the wrong approach. Anyhow, Dr. Kamara, Dr. Samura has cleverly succeeded in applying one of the most potent skills in the quest of power. That's it, using the smoke screen. You know, go expose your intentions because people cannot be trusted. And that is why he has been succeeded. He has succeeded in overcoming most of these problems. They always the meander. Because you know, say power na a labyrinth. Power it just are like a river where they meander. You know? And that is why they said, however deep a river is, it gets a source. Until you know the source, then you cannot win the game. And through this skill, all the people that will be the masquerade in veils, you don't be in a position where you don't stir the water. Because I say, when you stir the water, then the fish then go come out. So now they all don't come out. They don't come out. And what it happened at the US, and what it be happened at one place now, so now Wilkinson Road, for one occasion, when the Secretary General and the PRO be, be make statements, not generally the mayor and other people. And those statements were so top notch in the membership of the APC, all seated there, them people they make, they know even go snatch the microphone at their hand. It was killing. Let God help the people that will come out, defy all weather conditions, all the difficulties for good line up for votes. And election, oh, some of them they even confirm saying that the APC win the election. Now, the masquerade. Samura don't stare the water. They all don't come into the open. Now, the chimney folklore, they get that devil, what they call, Kotomula, uh, 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 one of them banana leaves that they use. Where they wear, you see them clearly. 
But they begin to see now, Cotum La, when you want higher book and cafe than this. So now they don't become Cotum Lass. Because what you have now, I mean, they all don't, don't, they don't, they don't come out. Now, Samura don't know. You want the owner of the stiaras? You want the owner of the arrogant underlings? And you want the owner of the poisoners of goodwill? So many of them. Do you have the appeal to now? And are the appeal particularly to the deputy chairman and the chairman himself because they were they demonstrate maturity. They are so calm with all the things they whether they talk about them na the na the na the uh, 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 the empty na, na the now WhatsApp and all that, social media. You know, they say, see, they maintain their calm. Like what you hear me say, calm courage, grace in the face of any danger. Because when you demonstrate calm courage, you can see the eye of a hurricane. That's what the, the American philosophers say. Hemisphere. So that is the situation. And we get for try. We get for try. We still have time. Ola will try to overcome all the difficulties here. And people should be reminded when there is this power struggle within the party, and you have so many splinter, when the party is splintered into groups, it will become very, very dangerous. Do we need to remind ourselves of what happened in the French Revolution? The struggle, very ferocious. In the end, the Jacobins, the, they get two factions, the radicals and the moderates. Mirabeau led the moderate group and Robespierre the radical. But the health not been there in favor of Mirabeau. He died. And Rosberg emerged as the virtual ruler. He got set up that ring of terror, the guillotine. Thousands and thousands of nobles, clergies, they vote, even the, the king of Louis the Sixteenth. Any wife, Maria Antoinette, they go through the divinity. And in the end, they say, He who lives by the sword shall die by the sword. He says, In the end, rough spell, he go through the divinity. The Bolshevik Revolution, the ferocious infighting between Stalin. And the old Trotsky. Trotsky had to go on exam. Then Mao Zedong and Lin Piao. We now all for no day kind here. You may never go into a politics for govern a nation. You know, read. They're meaningless. They're meaningless. When they admire J.J. Safa, he's well read. Whatever he may say about J.J. Safa, he reads. And he proven to me, or the do I just don't talk. Look what the young man go talk in America. Timo. Proceed and tell the people that the truth. Who's kind true? 
Qui ne voit guère si on a dit ce qu'on a as national officers, the principle of collective responsibility, na impayen do na. If for any reason, you see si people and they mess up over a certain thing, then you know satisfy, you resign. That is the meaning of collective responsibility. But for say, oh, therefore, talk the truth. Which kind of truth? He very, he talk say, now we win the election. He don't read the document. You as a lawyer, he don't know say that in the, the transit, that in the, the meander, that you go to security council. That document, what would have been the under rate? It went to the security council. The resolution there, what did that adopt there? You and I don't know. You know they find out? Well, now they say that they lie to the people there. Who can lie? Now three parties, they signed that, uh, 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 the, uh, the, the unity agreement. And resolution three. Now the linchpin of that agreement. Now don't know say who's I am. The recommendations have been presented. So for the IG say uh, the, uh, 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 this and that and all the rest of it. Let us wait and see. But in the process of waiting and see, you as a national officer, you have, according to the constitution, political parties are hereby established. You know? For Leona, they educate the membership. That's one of the functions. Apart from electing somebody who will be flag bearer or will be a, a member of parliament, this and that. You know? Now, for shape the will of the people of our membership, you are not doing that function, Mr. Chimbo. They go to Napa and America. The whole world they listen to you as a young man will get a very bright future. Look at the uh, the chairman of the Western region. Now Riyadh, is it not just the light life and the people, even by the, uh, this echo more? Is it not the full people there? Why? What is wrong with the, the, the APC? Okay, that is part one. I will go into part two. Thank you.